Okay, so you'd like to mod your uh, Walmart exclusive Robbie the Robot made by Goldlock, and this is uh, in 2020, 2020. And you would like to have the uh, mouth stay unlit, except for when Robbie's making sounds or talking, and you only want to flash with the talking. As sold by the factory, the mouth is lit, and when a sound happens, it goes out. Just the exact opposite of what you want. And it's real easy to fix. Basically, there are three wires that come from the LEDs in the mouth. There are two black wires, which just happen to be these two wires here that are soldered to number seven. This pin number seven on the control board inside Robbie's body and pin six are the same thing. In some of the toys, you'll find that one wire is soldered to seven and one wire is soldered to six. It doesn't matter. In this particular one, the factory twisted them both together and soldered them both on seven. That's fine. Consider this the ground wire to the LEDs. We're going to unsolder that and just lift it out of the way for the moment. Then back here, there are three yellow wires that come down to V. This stands for V+. Plus. This is battery power. It's always hot. And those three wires, one of the wires goes to the mouth, one of the wires goes up to the lights in the sax valve, and one of the wires goes up to the dome light up in the gyros. You just need to figure out which wire, and you can do it either by tracing and tugging on them, goes to the mouth. You want to find the mouth one. And you can either unsolder it or just snip it and then bear the end and put new solder on the end. Because what we want to do is take the mouth yellow wire and solder it, which you can't really see, but right behind, uh, well, we're going to bring that yellow one from the mouth. We can solder it to either number six or number seven. We don't care which. Then the two black wires that we had, that we lifted off earlier, you're going to bring over to number five, which is hidden behind all this crap. Now number five already has a single gray wire on it, and that gray wire goes up um, to the gyro, to the dome light. But you're just going to add the black wire onto that gray one. And once you've done that change, now the mouth will stay off when there's no sound, and only turn on when there is sound or talking, which is the cool effect that you want. And of course the other uh, cool thing that you can do at this point would be to add a uh, blue gel to the LEDs in the mouth. I'm not sure what other pictures I might have here. Or that's just a picture. This is actually what the circuit board up in the dome light looks like. The yellow and gray wire that go up to it. And those are the two LEDs. And this is what the uh, board in the mouth looks like. There are four LEDs in the mouth. These are the current limiting resistors. There's your two black wires and there's your yellow wire. And another one up clip. This is a cleaner picture of what it looked like up in the uh, gyro dome light board. A little bit more in focus. This board is behind the sax valves. You've got uh, four LEDs in total up there. This is what the inside of the head looks like. This piece here, if you pop this piece out where they've just melted the plastic over, that'll release the entire sax valve so that you can paint them. This is the uh, control button in the chest, if you ever wondered what that looks like behind the buttons on the chest in Robbie's heart box area. We've got uh, two LEDs that do the alternate flashing, and this is the switch that when you push the button on the chest. This is actually what the uh, parts for the ear puller look like when you 3D print them. If you watch the video explaining how to uh, pull Robbie's beams or blaster beams, his ears off so that you can take the head apart, these are the files that are up on Thingiverse and what it looks like. I print them 100% solid, and they only do supports on this very front part. And uh, the coarser the better, because you need something for your fingers to grip onto. So that's just pointed at point too fast on a Persa MK3S. Pictures again showing them getting ready to clip on and how they pull and push. Here's where I put uh, the blue gel over the LEDs. I didn't have a, a piece of gel big enough to cover the whole thing, but it doesn't matter. The LEDs are there and there and there and there. So I had a little piece of blue gel and I snipped it, put a little dab of glue to hold it so it wouldn't fall out of place. This goes back to my first video showing where the uh, ratchet wheels and the feet tend to hang up. There's a little ridge cast right here in the left foot, especially in the front. And when the wheel is forward, it's supposed to lock because the ratchet hits this piece of plastic. But when the foot is moving forward, the wheel is supposed to turn free. That's when the wheel rolls back. 
and it's supposed to turn free, but it's catching on just a little bit of plastic here. So if you take a little flat blade screwdriver and just scrub that a few times and get that transition edge off, all of a sudden you'll find everything works fine. Your Robbie walks just fine. And they're basically telling you to do it front and back. Here's what it looks like when the wheels are sitting inside the frame. Another picture of the uh, control board. This one is actually showing it with already modded, what we just did. Here's the yellow wire coming from the mouth. I happened to solder it to six, but I could have soldered it to seven. It doesn't matter. Like I said, these are both the same thing. And here's the two black wires. I brought them down to join in. I know it looks like there's a blue wire there, but it's actually over one. These black wires are coming down to number five. Should be a gray wire already there, and you're adding two black wires to it. And that'll change it so that the uh, mouth only lights when there's sound present. And here I've painted a lot of the parts. I wanted my ear blaster, so I chromed them. Did white on the gyros, chromed my sax valves. The little piece in the front chest, I chromed just the little cross part on that clear piece. And putting some up back together here on the front. The wigwag, I chromed those, flippers, whatever you'd like to call them. I did some white on the very tops here where the sax valves are going to sit back down once we stick them back in there. And there we have it lit up. The only thing I hadn't done when I took these pictures was to uh, use the black Sharpie to fill in the black tube lines to uh, make the tubes look better. So, there you have it.